Well, friends, today we are doing some antique shopping and a little bit of an outdoor flea market. So I'm going to bring you along and share all the pieces I found, some pieces I actually put in my antique booth, and then I will be sharing a haul at the end of some pretty incredible pieces I found for less than a dollar a piece. This is also a fun video as it is in collaboration with Sarah at Sarah's October Home. She is doing something similar and she always has some wonderful pieces to find and she seems to hit the jackpot and she's redoing some of her rooms in her home and just making a beautiful space for her and her family. So if you haven't seen her channel, definitely go watch hers after you have watched mine if you're new from Sarah's channel i am so glad you are here to come antiquing and flea market shopping and sharing my haul with me So this basket was a piece that I did pick up and put in my antique booth. I think it was $6 is what I got it for. And then here are some of the other pieces I ended up finding and putting on my shelf at the antique store. to the antique store. There are always so many things to look for in an antique store, but I'm always on the hunt for things like old pictures to put flowers in and decorate with or put gravy in, things like that. I'm always looking for just some wall decor and these tins would be so beautiful hung up on the wall. Copper is another type of decor that I use with tea kettles or cups or little creamers and sugars. Those are always things I love to look for and blue ball mason jars. I use those in my home as well as have them in my own antique booth too. little patchwork sign was so cute and my friend said she would hang it in her house but it was just a little bit too expensive at ten dollars and then this was the jackpot booth cookbooks for 89 cents candlesticks for 89 cents things for 49 cents so we spent a good half hour in this booth there was a lot of junk or stuff to look through and so it was just fun to peruse my friend picked up many pieces of artwork I found several items that you will see in the haul, but it was just such a fun booth to look through. And I definitely will be going back because the owners of the antique store said this booth vendor often prices their items less than a dollar. So such fun things to find and for such a great price. have been on the hunt for salt and pepper shakers. I'm not sure what style I'm looking for, but I want something that of course are antique or vintage. And so this booth did have quite a few that I did kind of like, so we'll see if I end up going back and getting them or not. But I did not pick up any at this time. I mean, $15 for a pillow is pretty affordable. I have some, I found some um, like red and green checkered pillows at the bins, pillow covers. I'll put it in the cotton. Yeah, yeah that like it, pretty. it is very yeah. much coming back in. 10, let's do it. Okay, so let's jump into my haul. Now, 
I took you to like an outdoor flea market and then an outdoor antique store and then also did some antiquing as well. So there is a collective haul of different antiquing, a little bit of thrifting. So let's just jump right in. So this, um, I'm going to do the best I can with prices because I didn't get a receipt for these, but this is a McCoy. Uh, bowl and I love these bowls. I do have an antique booth. So a few items I mentioned that I did buy I put in my antique booth as well, but this might go in that antique booth. I don't know. I love these old bowls So I want to say this was $12.50. It is I think it's a size 10 So it's got some like chipping there around it um, cracking I think it's supposed to be and some on the inside, but I just love these old bowls and how heavy duty and sturdy they are. Okay, at the flea market, outdoor flea market, I got this lamp, it is a plug-in. I haven't actually checked to see if it works, but it was 50% off that table. So this was $2 um, at that antique uh, flea market, outdoor flea market, I got that copper tea kettle that I put in my booth and those i think they were made in england little i think they were part of a tea set or tea display i put those in my booth as well so those were some items i found the copper tea kettle i got for eight and then the other two pieces i got both for four so like i said this was two dollars and i just i could see this going in my girls' room as long as my littlest, uh, who is one and a half, doesn't touch it. So maybe up a little bit higher to begin with, or in my husband in my room, it'd be really neat if this was a real oil lamp. But I just love the detailing with the little dots here, and just how cute that is. It's so, just so petite. It needs a little wiping off on this um, part here, the glass cover. But anything old, I feel like it needs wiping off. Okay, I was so excited to find these bells so for christmas i'm gonna be decorating with this one and this one so i had been looking for some last year it's kind of like a scandinavian decor style but i think i paid i think i paid 12 for both of these but aren't they just so neat and i love the rope um it has like the old wood on the inside the bell is so worn I might even put them somewhere where my little girls can touch them, but they'd just be so beautiful displayed hanging from a wreath or hanging from a garland I have. And so I'm excited to have found these, especially when it's at an antique or flea market instead of just buying it from Amazon. Okay. Oh, one more thing from the outdoor flea market I found was this piece. This didn't have a price, so I got it for $3.00. It is like that courier and I've seen. I have a few teacups and tea plates, little plates that go with something like this. And I just like using these to display. It'd be cute to put little candies in it for Christmas or when guests come over to put like a little jam sauce or something or I don't know exactly what it's used for. But just such a cute little piece that I was excited to have found to kind of continue my courier and Ives collection. Okay, I think everything else is pretty much from that um, antique trip, and one particular booth was outstanding. 49 cents for pieces, 89 cents for pieces. So this cute, it's tin, but this cute little girl picture, I have two little girls, so I thought that would be really adorable to either put in their room or have. It was 89 cents, so I was floored, again, by these prices. My friend and I that went, we bought out a lot of things from that booth because I'll add a few things to my antique shelf or booth that I have and then also keep some so I think I will be keeping this there is no inscription or anything on the back just tin but isn't I wonder even if it was a lid to something now that I look at it it may have been but just so cute um, to match my girls' room especially with the pinks and blues because that's what I have in their room and then I don't know if some of you are like me. I grew up when I was in middle school and elementary, I watched Martha Stewart. So don't approve of what she has done with some of her financial um, gains, but I just loved watching her growing up and getting inspiration and I decorate for the seasons. 
And so these two books were 89 cents a piece. Excited to look through these. So Christmas with Martha Stewart Living and then parties and projects for the holidays. So I just always found such inspiration, especially when they have like, such beautiful pictures in there. You can't go wrong. And there's even like a little boy sleeping in that one. So fun inspiration to peruse. I might even put it in our little guest cottage, a few of these uh, books too. All right. I got three wooden candlesticks. I'm not a huge wood person. I have more of the gold candlesticks, but I thought four, I think these were, they were three for 49 cents that I couldn't pass them up and I could put them in my booth if I wanted as well. So they're all the same height, but you know, for Christmas it'd be beautiful with my beeswax candles that I have just displayed really nicely on top of my piano. Um, I'm, or even for the fall here, but just such beautiful wood candlesticks for 49 cents for three. This piece, I think it was 89 cents. It just has a little design on it. It just needs some cleaning out. Um, it'd be cute for candies at Christmas, here in the fall, put candy corn in it, put it in my booth. I'm not 100% sure, but for 89 cents, I couldn't pass it up. There is not a seal on the lid, but I thought that was a really affordable price. Cute little glass canister. You feel like you can't really go wrong with cute glass storage canisters either. This will go on my booth because I used to have a milk glass collection and then I got rid of it, but this was 49 cents in that same booth. Just some of that um, textured milk glass there. This little brown piece, I'm not a huge fan of the brown myself, so it will be going in my booth, but it's got just a beautiful lid on the top with the point there, it's in really, really good condition. So, as you can see, the original price tags had 10, if you can see that, but I think this one was uh, like $1.89 or 89 cents again. Nope, this one was $1.49. I did find my receipt here. So $1.49 for this beautiful piece to put in my antique booth. Okay, so this little spoon holder was not from that really cheap booth, but this was a $5 find. And my friend found it and just said, you need a spoon holder? And I have been looking for a beautiful spoon holder. This one looks handmade. It has just a little marking on the bottom. It's got like a picture of a home and a few birds and a hill. And I just thought that would be ideal for my stove top to have a spoon to rest on. I have never had a spoon holder. So what better piece than having a friend find it and to get it. So this was five. Another one to probably just go in my antique booth. These are also nice though to serve guests with to put water in if you have a couple different tables. Like when I have Christmas events or birthday parties so that each table gets a carafe of water. So this was 89 cents. All right, this will be going in my booth as well. This was not from that cheap one as well either, but it was 450. So blue mason jars around here, um, when they are put into antique booths are often eight, $12. So I thought this would be nice to resell and it has the lid on it already. So just a nice blue ball mason jar. Okay, this was a fun find, this picnic basket. It already has some of the plastic picnic things in it. It's in such good condition. I think the picnic basket was 12. So I picked this up because I have a few picnic baskets to store things in. And so I was excited to see this and I didn't feel like 12 was an outrageous amount. Um, I will be getting rid of like, these plastic things that are in here. I already have play plates and cups for my little girls in their little play kitchen. So I will just be donating those plastic pieces back to a thrift store for someone else who might like to take them out picnicking. But it's got such a nice size on the inside. It's just really adorable. Great to store toys in when you got kids or you put extra blankets in it for off season or books or something like that. So just a nice square picnic basket for $12. This last piece, 
I probably spent more than I should have, but my friend made a point. If you find a good piece of art and you really just enjoy it and love seeing it, it is worth getting. So I fell in love with this piece. I shouldn't say in love. I just adore this piece and it is by Robert Wood. Now, isn't that frame just adorable? It is so lightweight, but it is textured, um, painted. I don't know if it's an actual oil painting or a copy. It's probably a copy, but I just, the frame was so beautiful. The scene for winter will be beautiful to hang up just even anywhere in my house when I transition out of the fall and I just could not pass this up. So it did have 16 on it, but I got it for 1350 plus some tax. But just a beautiful, beautiful frame and artwork that I thought I couldn't pass this up because art is very hard to come by, especially these like watercolor painted nature scenes that I really enjoy. Okay, the last piece, I'm just gonna insert a clip, this chair was $8 and I had to get it to put in my front porch. Now, I have one already that I repurposed that's like a cane seat. It's just a little wobbly. It's it's not quite the texture I wanted and I'm really liking the wood or the darker wood tones. And so I got this chair, the round seat, and I got it for eight. Now, after we purchased it, the lady came back to us and said, that it was her chair when she was a little girl because she, the part that's worn off on the top was from her biting on it and chewing on it over 60 years ago. So pieces with the story are just so fun to have and to collect and curate a home from other people's pieces, especially when they tell a story. So that is my antique collective haul and finding some great deals and just finding things that I'm really enjoying and in love with. So don't forget to check out Sarah's video at Sarah's October Home. If you haven't seen her channel before, definitely go there after here. And I'm so glad you came over. If you're from her channel, I do videos such as these, homemaking, motherhood, and simple living. So I'd love to have you join my YouTube family and community by hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss some of these type of videos, some inspiring homemaking videos, and my simple living. So hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day, and I'll talk with you in the next one.